Hello. Oh, of course, we have thunder, lightning, just a little super rainy, soggy day. Apparently, it was windy because some of my orchids were tipped over. But anyways, I wanted to give some updates on what's going on with some of my orchids. This one is doing so good, in my opinion. Growing a new leaf. This is what the flowers look like. I actually got this in, I wanna say February, if not January, and I am completely shocked that this flower is still here. And I'm wondering if I should just cut down the stem so she can focus on growing. But look at this, I wanted to show how beautiful these new roots are growing. Like this is attached to the bark that I put in here and this is what came Fowl's Fuller Sunset. No, look, I can't believe I wrote it down. I got it from RF Orchids in January and it is still holding on to a little flower. And honestly, I have a lot of fowls and this one, the leaves are so strong and healthy that I don't know, I guess at RFs they have really healthy plants, I guess you could say. Um, soon after I got her, I repotted her, which is usually a big no-no. You should not repot them is what I've heard from a lot of videos from a lot of growers. Wait till they drop the flowers and then repot them. But in my experience, when that has happened and I wait, then in the center, what I usually have is a lot of rot. And I would try to avoid that. So I took her out, I bought her this very airy pot at Ophi's. And I put some bark, some of that coconut, whatever you call it. And she's doing so good. I mean, I think this is the nicest fowl that I have, the oldest that still has perfect leaves. And I don't do much. I mean, I clean the leaves every now and then just with water, but I make sure that they're dry afterwards. I don't leave them wet. And I'm debating and I'm open to suggestions for all of you out there that, um, I don't know, if you have this happen before, that one flower remains on there and doesn't want to come off, I kind of feel bad chopping it down. But I'm looking at here, all this was full but here is probably I would cut right above here because it seems like this one, there's something in here, there's something here, and who knows if she reblooms. Even though I've seen from Miss Orchid Girl, especially that um, if you cut it down all the way, the next blooms are gonna be fuller and better and branch out because if I do it right here, then I will have less blooms. That's what supposedly they say. So either way, leave me your comments. Let me know, would you take this stem off and let the orchid concentrate on growing because it's obviously growing these beautiful roots. Would you take that off or would you kind of let it do what it wants to do? I'm leaning towards letting her do what she wants to do. Okay. Okay. Update number four on this latest Vanda from Ben Jong. This is Ben's fragrance and the smell is incredible, like I've mentioned. And the second spike is just opening up. It already smells slightly, but it already smells. It's incredible. I think with these white spots, I don't know if they're like um, from the nursery that they might have like hard water or whatever like a lot of minerals and stuff i'm not sure so i heard that they have well water over there so some of the plants come like that and they've said some of the growers have said you just take a little bit of water it can wash right off and it does see so i might need to give her a little wash but super proud super happy that everything's great with this one okay the next orchid update is not so good one this one my friend bought my co-worker slash bestie at work and we went to bang Jong together 
I got this Violetta over there. It's still blooming, going great. Everything is fine, but she got this one that is a Xena, I think it's called, with an X. Xena. So, unfortunately, she started to show some issues in the leaves. So, I sanitized the shears and I cut those ugly leaves off. So, if anybody knows what this is, is it sunburn? I don't think it was sunburn. I don't think she had it in a place where it got a lot of sunburn. But that's what's going on. And I'm afraid, should I move her away from the rest? Because she's here with all the rest of the Vandas. Everything else looks pretty good. Oh, I see another little discoloration. I don't know. Is it bacterial? Should I spray with something? So if anybody has their opinions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments. Let me know what should I do. Should I have cut these two leaves all the way back? I don't know. For now, I just kind of did this because that looks so ugly. That can't be right. Something's wrong. My guess is bacterial infection. That's my guess. I had bought some um, some sprays and stuff, but I'm not sure what to put on there. So I'm going to make sure before I spray her with anything. But I think that I'm gonna have to move her somewhere else because I don't want anybody else to get it. This one is doing so great second bloom for me she's doing great so that's the not so good vanda update right the third the third update is also with a vanda very happy about this one because i'm kind of neurotic about looking for new blooms and this one i kind of picked her out from sunset nursery because i liked how the roots looked and now the roots are growing all this is new all that is new so very happy about that so she was kind of leaning over to the side and i decided to tie her up give her a little bit of support and when i did i found something where is it very small little but i know what that is that's not a root that is definitely a spike so i don't want to disturb that but this one is looking really healthy. Unfortunately, I don't know her name. Sometimes at Sunset Nursery, they don't have um, tags. This root, look at this root, so strong. It's kind of bending the leaves, but that's it. So hopefully she's gonna rebloom again and she just dropped the blooms. So I'm shocked that already she's reblooming. I'm like in love with bandas. They're they're awesome for me. I don't know. Maybe I guess I'm doing something right. Maybe right here at the edge of the patio. They like to be here. But that's it for update number three on this Vanda from Sunset Nursery. Last but not least, this Mer... Oh, gosh. Mermecophila? Mermecophila. Which is aka the formerly known as Shamburkia, Shamburkia. She's looking beautiful. Like the colors change every day. I'm trying to get this to focus so you can see how beautiful it is on the inside. It kind of looks like a little tiny face. I love it. And even better that there's more blooms to come. So I love it. Beautiful. Don't look at the mess behind this. Just focus on the flower. I know there's a mess, a lot of a lot of fowls everywhere a lot of plants everywhere but here i notice a little discoloration on the leaves so if we have any experts out there of my like five followers or subscribers no i think there's a little bit more than that but anybody out there who has experienced it oh no and here we have this thing i'm gonna have to remove it because it's crushing the new growth i'm gonna have to fix that but none of the other leaves here, look on the back side. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. Too much sun. Is it a sunburn? I don't know. Dave, who I got this from, said they need a lot of sun. So she's right here. She gets a lot of sun. A lot, a lot, a lot. 
that's it. That is my little update for today. Just a few, a few that I'm mentioning. I might as well mention this dendrobium that looks like an alien growing cakeys off the side. I mean, I don't even know. I like dendrobiums when they're in bloom, but when they're not, I really don't like them. I don't like how they look. I don't like these stalks that they look dead. And I've been told that they might be dead, but they um, help the plant store energy and water and what have you. So I just don't like how they look. And then when they finish blooming, all the leaves fall off. And then look, this is what you're left with. This is what you're left with, this thing. I don't really like it. That's just my opinion. I don't like it. I put some on the tree and they seem to be doing okay. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Put them on the tree because when they're like this, I mean, it's like a dead forest. This one's kind of cute. This little cakey here is kind of cute. And then that little cakey there is a little cute. But then what do I do with the cakeys? I made a little cakey crib thing that I made, I, you know, I think I made a video about that. See, here's another one. I don't know. This plant does not look nice. It's just, I mean, I think this is new, which is, wow, yeah, it is new. That's nice, but I don't like this. I mean, I don't know. So any dendrobium lovers out there, give me some hints. What do I do when they look like that and you just want to, I don't know, move them away from everything else. Oh my gosh. Look at the storm. Look at this. Everything is everywhere. It's okay. So anyway, to finish off this video, I wanted to leave you with a couple blooms. This Cattleya that is on its way out, as you can see, they're so beautiful. And then when they're on their way out, they get so ugly. It's like, look at how ugly they can get. They truly, they look like death at the end. Eesh. Look at that. Looks like it's bleeding, leaking, whatever. But then when they're looking good, they're the most beautiful of all, in my opinion. So I wanted to finish this video by showing you this beautiful why not that believe it or not, I got it at Home Depot. At Home Depot, they sold this. They only had two, but at Home Depot, I got this why not for $18. And I was really shocked to find this there and it's so beautiful all the little blooms have opened don't smell anything so it's not fragrance but still beautiful the smell that i smell is coming from this one the um, maxillaria tunifolia wow smells like the beach and summer's coming summer is coming Guys, if you're enjoying, or even if you're sitting at home laughing at all my silliness, um, subscribe and like, please, so I can try to grow my channel. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And if you have any ideas for more videos, you can let me know in the comments. Thank you. Bye.